I'm Brittany Wilmore and this is ABC 13's The 60. A family lost everything in a house fire in North Houston, including their two daughters' clothes and supplies for school. She and her eight-year-old sister will start school next Monday. Their dad says a brisket left on the pit in the backyard may be to blame for the fire. You'll probably hear a lot more about this one today now that a family is suing Pearland ISD because they say an administrator drew on their son's head with a marker. The administrator reportedly told Jules Trice's haircut didn't follow a dress code and used a sharpie to fill it in. The family says they didn't know anything about it until their son told them. Starting today, Astros fans will see new extended and upgraded netting at Minute Maid Park. The netting will be extended further down the right and left field lines to protect more fans from foul balls. This comes three months after a two-year-old was hit by a line drive. The netting doesn't have knots, so you should still be able to see. The first day of kindergarten was made a little less scary for a boy who lost his dad to cancer last year. One of Sergeant Bill Neely's final wishes was for his work family to take his son Jake to school for his first day of kindergarten. Well, last week his fellow officers did just that, lining the walkway and cheering on Jake. The officers also plan to eat lunch with him throughout the year. Have a great day, guys.